हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर इलिस्ट्रेशन नंबर थ्री इज कम्प्लीट नाउ नेक्स्ट इन इलिस्ट्रेशन नंबर फोर द डेटा अबाउट बाय मंथली क्लोजिंग प्राइस ऑफ सेल कंपनी इन द ईयर 2014 आर गिवन कंप्लीट द चेंजेस इन द एक्स नंबर फ्रॉम दिस डेट यू कैन अंडरलाइन व्हाट चेंजेस इन द एक्स नंबर so first of all write the formula change base index number is equal to value of variable in current month value of variable डिवाइड बाय वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल इन प्रीसीडिंग मंथ क्वेश्चन मंथ इज गिवन सो यूजिंग करंट मंथ ओके सो वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल इन करंट मंथ डिवाइड बाय वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल इन प्रीसीडिंग मंथ मल्टीप्लाई बाय 100 मंथ रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवन ओके नेक्स्ट थ्री कॉमन ब्रेक मंथ second price and third change is index number you can every month between 119 new what by down january next march next may next july next september and last now second column price of sale is given 22 21.20 22 23 24.17 and 20 Six. Okay, next last column changes in next month. So use the formula current month divided by preceding month multiplied by hundred. The month of January twenty two preceding month data is not available. So first year index number okay, changes in next month write down directly hundred. Next value of variable in current month twenty one point two zero divided by preceding month value twenty two into hundred. Next current month value twenty two divided by preceding month value twenty one point two zero. In two hundred. Next, current month value twenty three. Divide by 
preceding month value 22 in 200 next current month value 24.70 divided by preceding month value 23 in 200 and last current month value 26 divided by preceding month value 24.70 in 200 you think that's it Month of March 21.20 in 200 divided by 22 96.66. Next 22 divided by 21.20 in 200 103.66. Next, 23 by 22 in 200, 104.55. Next, 24.70 divided by 23 in 200, 1.5. A lot. 26 by 24.70 in 200. 1.5. Next, Next, this is another five. The data of the purchase of Ronald by an illegal oil mill from the year 2008 to 2015. Prepare the index number by fixed base method with the year 2008 and the base and underline fixed base method. 2008 and the base year. With chain base method, underline second method, chain base index number. And by taking the average quantity purchased in the year 2010 and 11 as the purchase of the base year, underline term, taking the average quantity purchased in the year 2010. So, this is number 1, 3, and 4. Sorry, 5. For all three examples, including this one. First of all, write down first formula fixed base index number is equal to. Fixed base index number is equal to value of variable in current year divide by <coughs> value of variable in base year. In 200. Next, second part of the right. Chain base index number is equal to
value variable in current year divided by value variable in preceding year into 100 and number 3 average quantity purchase is equal to average quantity purchase is equal to 2010 plus 2011 divided by 2 2 year is given so divided by 2 in purchase of round 2010 is 230 plus 250 in year 2011 divided by 2 so average answer 240 now next 5 column great first 2 column is small year and purchase of round remaining 3 columns including first column right down here second six more First two column as it is right down between one one year, one line between you, 2008 to 2015. Second column right now. Next, 
250 divided by 230 in 200 next 270 divided by 230 in 200 next 280 divided by 230 in 200 next 300 divided by 230 in 200 300 divided by 230 Using Kelsey, find the answer 230 divided by 230 into 100. So, first in the year 2008, answer is 100. Next, 250 divided by 230 into 100, 108.5. Next, 230 by 230 into 100. Next, 250 divided by 230 into 100. 108.70. In next year, 2012. 270 divided by 230 into 100. 117.39 280 divided by 230 into 100 121.74 Next, in year 2040 300 divided by 230 into 100 130.5 Four, and last year same answer 130.4 your first method is completed fix with index number now next chain with index number value of variable in current year divide by preceding year so 2008 preceding year 2007 information is not available so first year index number is always 100. Next, 2009 current year value 250 divided by preceding year value 230 in 200. Next, 2010 current year value 230 preceding year 250 in 200. Next, 2011, current year price 250, preceding year 230, 250, divided by 230, in 200. Next, 2012, current year value 270, preceding year 250, in 200. Next 2013. Current year 280, preceding year 270 in 200. Next year 2014. Current year 300, preceding year 280 in 200. Last year 2050, current year 300, preceding year also 300 in 200. Okay. Using that, say find the answer. First in year 2008, 100. Next 250 divided by 230 in 200. 108.70 Next 230 divided by 250 into 200 
250 divided by 230 into 100. One zero eight point seven zero two seventy by two fifteen two hundred one zero eight two eighty by two seventeen two hundred one zero three point seven zero. Next, 300 by 218 to 100. 107.14. And last, 300 by 300 into 100. Answer it. The second method, change with the test was completed. Now, next, the average quantity for that. The average quantity for the answer is 240. We can every quantity of the price over here. Divide by 240 into 100. Fix this matter, same to same. So 230 divided by an average 240 into 100. Next year, 250 divided by. 240 in 200 next year 230 by 240 in 200 next year 250 by 240 in 200 next year 270 by 240 next 280 divided by 240 in 200 next 300 divided by 240 in 200 and last take 300 divided by 240 in 200 using the same point answer 230 divided by 240 into 100 95.18 next 250 divided by 240 into 100 104.18 Next, 230 divided by 240 into 100, 95.33. Next, 250 divided by 240 into 100, 104.17. Next, 270 divided by 240 into 100 12.5 next 280 divided by 240 into 100 116.67 next 300 divided by 240 into 100 125 so, completed illustration number 5.